every Tuesday. Traffic expert Jason Luber tackles a question driving you crazy, so he is back. You get a lot of questions about license plates. Jason. Yeah, it's mostly about expired tags and temporary license plates, but it's one on from Denver who writes, what's driving you crazy? I read your article about out of state plates, but what about out of the US plates? We drove our Prius all the way up from Mexico City. The car was bought in Mexico and has Mexican plates. We are living in Denver. Where can we find the regulation for that? Well, the process to register a foreign car that is newer than 25 years old in the United States States can be confusing, lengthy, frustrating and expensive. Their country has every country has their own standards and equipment mandates for motor vehicles, and those standards are different between most vehicles sold in Mexico and those sold in the United States. Now, these federal standards are written so that the public is protected against unreasonable risk of crashes. Passengers are protected against unreasonable risk of death and injury in the event of a crash. And if a vehicle doesn't comply with US federal standards, it will need to be modified to meet these standards. There's a couple couple of options here. The preferred option by U.S. Customs and Border, uh, Border Security is to use an independent commercial importer to handle all forms, duties, taxes, modifications, and to make sure that the vehicle meets U.S. emission and safety requirements. That process can be very expensive and in some cases can cost more than what the vehicle is worth. If you go through that process and pass, you can then go through the process of normal registration for your car right here in Colorado with the Colorado DMV. And since you're importing a Prius, my guess is that it will comply comply with most, if not all, of the U.S. safety and emissions regulations, and importation really shouldn't be too difficult. You can also legally drive the car in the United States with your Mexico license plates for a period of one year from the time you enter the U.S., assuming the registration is current. I have a ton more on this story, including the explanation of the 25-year rule that a lot of people use to import cars in the United States. Right now, it's on the DenverChannel.com. You just click on the menu, select Denver 7 Traffic, and then driving you crazy. You have to really really love your car. That's a lot of hoops to jump. <laughs>